here's my playtesting basic board game video walkthrough for my game, Trivia Insignificante, with some changes that were made after the first few t tests. The easter egg landing has been changed from 50 to 100 points. This was changed because I discovered that awarding 50 points was not special, and it was intended to be special. The choose your opponent's subject has been changed to move ahead one spot. Answer that subject's question, then choose your opponent's subject. The modem broke pay $50 to fix landing has been changed slightly to also lose a turn. Now, let's playtest the game again. Players 1 to 3 has been determined by the roll of the dice. Player 1 spins 4 and lands on animated movies. The question is, who is the voice of Woody in Toy Story? Player 1 correctly answers, Tom Hanks, and gets 50 points. Player 2 spins 2 and lands on video games. The question is, what company released the first handheld game? Player 2 correctly answers, Mattel, and gets 80 points. Player 3 spins 3 and lands on comic books. The question is, Peter Parker works as a photographer for... Player 3 correctly answers, The Daily Beagle, and gets 60 points. Player 1 spins 1 and lands on, lose a turn. No points for Player 1. Player 2 spins 4 and lands on, choose your opponent's subject. So the rule is, the question will go to the next player, Player 3. Player 2 moves ahead 1 and lands on TV. The question is, what weapons does Michelangelo use? Player 2 correctly answers, nunchucks, for 70 points. Player 2 now selects animated movies for Player 3's question. Player 3's question is, in Madagascar, what does Marty wish for on his 10th birthday? Player 3 correctly answers, to live in the wild, for 50 points. Player 3 remains in the same spot. Player 1 spins 3 and lands on video games. The question is, what does Mario jump on after completing a level? Player 1 correctly answers, flagpole, for 80 points. Player 2 spins 4 and lands on Trivia Detention for no points. This is this turn and the next. Player 3 spins 2 and loses a turn. Player 1 spins 2 and lands on Animated Movies. The question is, what is Buzz Lightyear's famous catchphrase? Player 1 correctly answers, To infinity and beyond! For 50 points. Player 2 lost a turn for 0 points. Player 3 spins 3 and lands on video games. The question is a multiple choice. The question is, what year was the start of the golden age of arcade video games? Player 3 correctly answers, 1978, for 80 points. We'll move ahead for the sake of time once around the board. Player 1 spins 3, passes go, and collects $50 and lands on TV. Player 1 guesses incorrectly for 0 points. Player 2 spins 3, passes go, and collects $50 and lands on video games. Player 2 guesses incorrectly for 0 points. Player 3 spins 4, passes go, and collects $50 and lands on video games. Player 3 answers correctly for 80 points. Player 1 spins 4 and lands on... Lose a turn for no points. Player 2 spins 3 and lands on. Lose a turn for no points. Player 3 spins 2 and lands on. Animated movies. Player 3 answers incorrectly for no points. We'll move ahead for the sake of time. 5 spins for each player and we'll start with player 2. Player 2 spins a 4 and lands on. Double your choice. Player 2 picks video games for 80 points with a possible 160. The question is, what was the most popular arcade game in 1981? Player 2 answers correctly with Donkey Kong and gets 160 points. Player 3 spins 2 and also lands on Double Your Choice. He also chooses video games. 
His question is a multiple choice. The question is, what does Atari mean? Player 3 guessed incorrectly for 0 points. The correct answer is... Success. Player 1 spins a 4 and lands on Easter Egg Trivia for 100 points. It's a multiple choice question. The question is, how many cameos did Stan Lee make in the MCU? Player 1 guessed correctly with 22 and gets 100 points. Let's jump slightly ahead for time's sake to Player 3. Player 3 spins a 2 and lands on Modem Broke, pay $50 to fix, and loses a turn. For time constraints, we'll stop at the end of the regulation game. All questions have been asked. Player 3 has 4,360 points and is in the lead. Player 2 is in 2nd place with 4,320 points. Player 1 is in 3rd place with 4,080 points. It's time for the final round. The final round subject is Harry Potter. The question is, the visitor's entrance to the Ministry of Magic is an abandoned red telephone booth in London. What is the five-digit code you must dial to get in? The players have 30 seconds. Good luck. Player 1 guesses 62442. Correct. Player 1 rages 4300 points for a final total of 8080 points and is in the lead. Player 2 also guessed 62442. Correct. Player 2 wages 2500 points for a final total of 6820 points. Player 3 guesses 77355, which equals the word spell. Sorry, Player 3, that's incorrect. Player 3 waged 4,300 points for a final points total of 60 points. Player 1 wins the game! <laughs>